Speaking of monsters, I think we can all agree that one movie probably taught the bulk of us how in vitro fertilization and cloning actually work. Jurassic Park. Thank you, Mr. DNA. It's kind of weird that you aren't a doctor, but we loved you anyway. And historically, cloning hasn't been much more complicated than Spielberg made it out to be. For example, in 1928, Hans Spemann forced a salamander egg to produce clones just by tying a baby's hair around the egg as the cells split to push some of the nuclei into a separate little area. Naturally, he had to perform the act many, many times to verify the results, and we thank all the bald babies who sacrificed so much in the name of science. Of course, that kind of cloning is a lot easier to pull off with animals that are already parthenogenetic, which means they produce an egg that doesn't need to be fertilized produce offspring. Parthenogenetic animals include aphids, tapeworms, jellyfish, marmor crabs, boa constrictors, lizards, wasps, and sponges, including the ones with square pants. And I know what you're thinking. The f is a marmor crab? Look, man, I just copy and paste Wikipedia and add jokes, okay? It's probably an eel or something, I don't know. 